Hi, today we shall learn the dimensional formula of different physical quantities in a very easy method by knowing the fundamental formula of those physical quantities. Dimension formula is used to obtain the unit of a physical quantity and we express the dimension formula in terms of fundamental quantities like mass, length, time, ampere, Kelvin, mole, candela. So we express the dimension formula in terms of fundamental quantities. Let us go for some examples. For example, velocity. Velocity is equal to displacement by time. Displacement we measure in terms of length and time we measure in terms of seconds or time. L by T. It is nothing but Lt minus 1 which is nothing but 0 in mass, 1 in length and T minus 1 in time. The powers of the fundamental quantities 0, 1, minus 1 are known as the dimensions of physical quantity and M0, L1, T minus 1 is the dimensional formula for physical quantity here, velocity. Acceleration, dV by dt, that is the change in velocity by time. Velocity, Lt minus 1 by time, it is nothing but Lt minus 2, nothing but as there is no mass m0 l1 t minus 2 now the most important dimensional formula is for force we come across the force in so many formulae so every student must remember the dimension formula of force let us let us see the force dimension formula force is equal to mass into acceleration m acceleration is lt minus 2 so force dimension formula is mlt minus 2 better to remember forever the dimensional form the dimensional formula for force is mlt minus 2 now let us see the different dimensional formulae like gravitational constant g is equal to for that you know the basic formula for the gravitational force of attraction f is equal to g into m1 m2 by r square or g is equal to f r square by m1 m2 f is the force r is the distance between the centers of the two bodies m1 and m2 are the masses of the two bodies f as i told you m l t minus 2 L square distance square between the two bodies which we measure in terms of length L square by M and M as there are two masses. Now you can say that that is M minus 1 L into L square L cube T minus 2. So the dimension formula for gravitational constant is M minus 1 L cube T minus 2. Let us go for some more examples. You have to remember the basic formula. Coefficient of viscosity, eta is equal to F by A by dV by dx. F is the force, A is the area, dV by dx is the velocity gradient. This can be written as F by A into dx by dV. Force, we must know that as MLT minus 2. Area, length into breadth, L into L, that is the L square. Distance between the two layers, L, change in velocity, that is the velocity, Lt minus 1. L into L, L square, this L square goes ML minus 1, T minus 1. M, L minus 1, T minus 2 plus 1, ML minus 1, T minus 1. That is the dimension formula for coefficient of viscosity, which is very important. Another is you can go for the absolute permittivity as we know in case of electrostatics the force of attraction or repulsion between any two charges F is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q1 Q2 by R square. Epsilon is equal to epsilon naught is equal to 1 by 4 pi F Q1 Q2 by R square. 
while using the damage formula constants cannot be taken into consideration so this is nothing but q1 q2 by fr square by ignoring 1 by 4 pi now q1 is the charge we know that i is equal to q by t q is equal to i t which you can write it as i ampere t time now this is nothing but a t for one charge for another charge a t and force is m l t minus 2 and distance square is nothing but l square so it becomes a square t square by m l cube t minus 2 this becomes m minus 1 l minus 3 t to the power of 4 and a square so the damage formula for absolute permittivity of free space becomes m minus 1 l minus 3 t4 and a square now let us go for another important uh, physical quantity that is absolute permeability f is equal to mu naught by 4 pi into m1 m2 by r square m1 m2 by r square here f stands for the force of attraction or repulsion between any two poles mu naught is absolute permeability everybody must remember that here m1 m2 stands for the poles but not the masses so from this mu naught is equal to 4 pi f r square by m1 m2 neglecting the constants you can say that mu naught is equal to f r square by m1 m m2 f is mlt minus 2 distance square l square i told you m1 and m2 stands for pole strength the unit of pole strength is ampere meter you can write it as al so al into al this is a square l square you can say the a square now it becomes m l t minus 2 a square when it comes up it becomes a minus 2 so mu naught which is nothing but absolute permeability of free space simply we write it as permeability absolute permeability is mu naught we get it as mlt minus 2 a minus 2 let us go for one more example that is the Planck's constant energy of a photon e is equal to h nu where h is the Planck's constant e is energy nu is the frequency of incident radiation h is equal to e by nu the dimension formula for energy E is nothing but the dimension formula for work because energy is a capacity to do work. Work dimension formula is F into S, ML T minus 2 into L that becomes ML square T minus 2. ML square T minus 2. And frequency is nothing but reciprocal of time period, nothing but 1 by T is nothing but T minus 1. Substituting these two, ml square t minus 2 by t minus 1 it becomes ml square t minus 1 so the dimension formula for Planck's constant h is ml square t minus 1 now let us go for the dimension formula for stephen's constant according to stephen's law the energy emitted per second per unit area is directly proportional to the fourth power of absolute temperature of a perfect black body so e by t a is equal to when you remove the proportionality you will get the a constant sigma t to the power of 4 sigma is known as the stephens constant now here t is the absolute temperature which we will measure in terms of kelvin now e dimension formula is ml square t minus 2 t time capital t a area l square is equal to sigma into k to the power of 4 
now this is nothing but sigma is equal to l square l square get cancelled so you can write m l0 t minus 3 and k minus 4 so m l0 t minus 3 and k to the power of 4 if it comes and goes to the new denominator sorry numerator k minus 4 so the dimension formula for Stevens constant is sigma is equal to ml0 t minus 3 k minus 4 so let us conclude this video how to get the dimension formula by knowing the basic formula so don't by heart the dimension formula know about the basic formula and we can arrive to the dimension formula for example if you take p is equal to power is equal to work by time work is nothing but f into s by t f is nothing but ml t minus 2 into l by t it is simply ml square t minus 3 so know the basic formula of any physical quantity by using that basic formula for physical quantity we can obtain the dimensional formula for any physical quantity.